people are disturbed by it. And if you're guilty and you murder 12 people and one baby, uh, what, what, what do you do as a society? Do we keep letting things like this happen with no punishment? Survivors of the Aurora Theater shooting and many of you with a lot to say after the parents of the shooter release a letter asking to spare their son, avoiding trial and the death penalty. In the letter, the shooter's parents write, we love our son, we've always loved him, and we don't want him to be executed. And Eric, this story causing a lot of reaction on our 7 News app and on our website. Right, a lot of people asking, why now? People want to know less than a week from Christmas and ahead of next month's jury selection. Jennifer Kowaleski speaking with one of the survivors, and Jennifer Marcus Weaver saying this letter really is a slap in the face. Says he was upset by the letter, released by the shooter's parents today. He questions why they're speaking out now, more than two years after the deadly shooting and just a month away from jury selection. And there's not a day, a minute or a second that we don't think about what happened to us. Marcus Weaver says he will never forget what happened on the night of July 20th, 2012. Weaver was shot in the shoulder. His friend Rebecca Ann Wingo among the 12 people killed inside the theater. And now, more than two years later, we're hearing from the shooter's parents for the first time. It was really a shot in the arm all over again um, by, with the letter. If the timing was awful, everything is just, it just feels icky. In this letter, Robert and Arlene Holmes apologized to the victims and survivors, pleading for their son to escape the death penalty. Writing, we love our son, we have always loved him, and we do not want him to be executed. Weaver says the letter is too late. He is not an advocate for the death penalty, but says in this case, he believes the punishment fits the crime. I feel he lost his right for life when he walked in that theater that night. My plea to Mr. Holmes is, and his family is, just accept what the fate is. If it was decided by the people who you hurt and by the DA's office, it's not going to change. Melissa Cowden's ex-husband Gordon Cowden was also killed in the shooting. She called the parents' statement comical, saying she doubts Holmes is mentally ill. Live in the newsroom tonight, Jennifer Kovaleski, 7 News. Potential jurors already getting their summonses in the mail, 9,000 of those going out last week. The process of narrowing down the field to 12 jurors and 12 alternates will start on January 20th. We have full coverage on this developing story, including the entire letter and past stories on the theater shooting right now on our 7 News app.